Hey guys, welcome to my next tutorial in the survival tutorial series. Now I apologise for this again, take it so long, but again I've been busy, you know, with tweaking this and other projects that I've been doing. So um, this has taken a little bit longer than I anticipated to get round to doing. Now this infantry uh, system that we're going to do is going to be split up into a few parts. So it's going to split up into say three or four parts. We're going to start off by creating the basis of the infantry, then maybe um, showing you how we'd be able to pick up multiple items and you know create the items around the game world and then once we've done that add the variables to our health stamina the water that we need to go up and the food so eating and drinking those items we've made and then you know after that for the next part of the series after we've done a few videos it's going to be moving on to crafting and things like that so that's just what will be to come so be prepared in the next few weeks it's going to be all about the infantry system now I'll show you the base of the infantry is I know people are always after a really advanced infantry system but I really don't have the time to create something like that nor the resources so I'll give you a quick example of how we're going to start off making it look and obviously you can change this but I'm just showing you the core basics so you can take it and make it into whatever you see fit so we're going to press I and then we're going to open up a basic infantry which is going to hold variables for whatever types of resources we're going to find in the game world so wood, stone, clay for instance these are just what I've made up then you can collect fish, a bottle and then if you've done a cooked fish if you've got bottled water and if you've maybe crafted a bandage or whatever or you've picked something up which will heal you and you click these buttons and then it will um, take away from one of the you know empty slots that we've got and then obviously like I said later on we'll actually make it so that it works with the GUI um, maybe do some boosts to the game you know pick things up so when we've cut trees we'll want to pick up the wood want to mine stone which will come a little bit later all things like that as I said, this is just going to be the core elements of creating the basics of part one. So, first of all, sorry about the long, long explanation. We're going to go to create JavaScript. And what we're going to do is we're going to start by creating an infantry script. So, I'm just calling this INV. So, open up in modern develop. And then when you have done so, what we're going to do is we'll, we'll delete the two starting functions. And then we'll call this variable menu skin as type GUI skin and this is just to help us because if you create a custom um, GUI skin you obviously you can make your GUI look slightly different and you can just add that to that slot then we're going to create three variables which are going to contain all the different items that we'll be able to craft stuff with so variable wood as integer equal to zero variable stone integer equal to zero variable clay integer equal to zero and obviously you can name it whatever you want and have as many as you want and then we're going to have variable fish as type integer equal to zero variable cooked fish as type integer equal to zero then we're going to have type bottle as type integer equal to zero and variable bottled water as type integer equal to zero then we're going to write one last one called variable bandage as type integer like all the others as zero then we're going to have one private variable called show GUI and have that as type boolean equal to false and what that's going to help us do is switch the infantry on and off when you know when we're pressing I or whatever button you want to create. Now, first of all, what you want to be able to do is you know be able to switch the GUI on and off. So we're going to create function update two brackets two curly brackets below. Then we're going to say if input oh, if bracket input dot get key down open brackets I in quotes add two brackets at the end underneath add two curly brackets and say that show GUI is equal to exclamation mark show GUI with a semicolon and that just means it'll do exactly opposite so every time we press I it'll do it if it's at false it'll set it to true if it's at true it'll set it to false so it's, we don't have to take up too many lines of code then under here 
what we'll do is we'll say that if show GUI is equal to true, so if any point it's equal to true, we'll say time dot time scale is equal to zero. So that means we'll sort of stop game time and we'll just freeze it in a sense. Then what we're going to do is we're going to find all the elements so that we can, you know, move the um, main camera, we can't move our character about, we can play any animations. So we're going to stop everything from working. So obviously it'll be like we've paused the game in a way. So then we're still going to say game object dot find open brackets in quotes first person controller dot get component open brackets fps input controller close that up dot enabled equals false and then what we're going to do is we're going to copy that same line and what I'll do is I'll paste that in again and then instead of this time we'll you look for mouse look And very similarly with what we did up above, we'll say game object dot find open brackets in quotes main camera dot get component open brackets mouse look close that up dot enabled equals false. Then game object dot find open brackets in quotes whatever you've got your player control script on so I've got mine on my FPS arms underscore acts at idle close that up dot get component open brackets player control close that up dot enabled equals false so what we'll do is we'll save that and what that means now is every time that we click and make sure that we can show the infantry we'll make sure everything's disabled so we can only do the things that we want to do in the infantry okay so then what I'll do is I'll copy this section entirely again and what we'll do is we'll paste this in just below and then we'll say in this case if then show GY is equal to false what we'll do is we'll make sure that all these that were false before we're gonna set to true so we'll copy true and we'll just paste it over all these false values that we've got there so that means you know if we press I again to get out of the infantry we'll actually be able to you know enable all the features of the game again now we're gonna get to the very nitty-gritty of the script and hopefully this won't take too long but it's you know you've got to get around the basic idea of making this GUI so then we're going to start by writing function on GUI two brackets two curly brackets below and then we'll say that if show GUI is equal to true so as in before when we disabled everything if we're saying if it's true then we'll add two curly brackets in there and then we'll say GUI dot skin is equal to menu skin with a semicolon then what we'll do is we'll add a little break and we'll put a, we'll tab it across slightly so we just indent it we'll say GUI dot begin group open brackets new rect open brackets again screen dot width divided by two minus 150 comma screen dot height divided by 2 minus 150 comma 300 comma 300 close up the two brackets and put a semicolon so what this means it'll find you your um, screen width so it'll divide find your screen width divide it by 2 which will go here and then we'll take away 150 and we'll do this at both sides and then we're going to set the GUI to be as big as 300 by 300 pixels so we'll make a little square in the center of the screen obviously you can change any of that and then what we're going to do is I'm going to add another line break in and tab it across so we indent it again 
then I'm going to want to put gy dot box open brackets rect open brackets again not comma not comma 300 comma 300 close that up add a comma we'll write in here basic infantry or whatever you want your title to be you can have infantry system infantry whatever but this is just going to be the title at the top of our box that we're going to have then what i'm going to do is add two line breaks in here then say gui dot label open brackets rect open brackets again and i'll say 10 comma 50 comma 50 comma 50 add a bracket put a comma then we'll write in quotes wood this is going to be our, just our label to make sure that we know what we're looking at. A label doesn't do anything, it just obviously label stuff. So what this means is that we're going to have a label, um, 10 across, 50 down, and the size of 50 by 50, so we'll be able to write the text in that box. And then what we'll do below here is we'll say GUI dot box, open brackets, rect, open brackets again. We're going to say 50, I mean... 60 comma 50 comma 20 comma 20 close that up add a comma put two quotes in add a plus and write the variable would then we'll add a bracket and a semicolon so then what we're doing here is we're going to say that we're going to have this gui box which is going to hold the variables so if we collect what it's going to add one every time 60 across so if we started at 10 across say we were here on my screen we're going to go across a little bit and then we're going to stay we're not going to go down any amount and we're just going to make it slightly smaller because it's only going to be a number not a word so obviously if you can get this around in your head you can make persistent variables if you're going to keep stuff the same values so here instead of it being so say we were going to always have 50 across you could change this to a variable called across and set it equal to 50 and then you would only have to write one word instead of writing lots of numbers but for the sake of this i might help you clean it up in a later tutorial but for the sake of this i'm just letting everybody understand that this is x this is y and these two are always the size of the box if you imagine that you're going to put any object inside any gui object so again we're going to do very very similar thing what we'll do is we'll copy this, these two sections, paste it in. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this, obviously, like you may have imagined, for each thing that we've got, like you saw in my example. So what we're now going to do is change this to 90, and then we're going to keep that at 50, those two at 50, but we're going to change this to stone. Make sure you add the quotes and then the GUI box is going to be 130 and then we're going to keep that at 50, 20 and 20. Keep the quotes but instead this time we're going to add stone. So all we're doing each time is making sure that they go down by a small amount so each time it goes up so from there to there it moves by 80. It moves by 80 each time we move up so it just spreads it out nice obviously you can change these values as I say now what you could do is then paste it in again so this time what we're gonna do is make sure that this one is equal to the X value is equal to 170 and we'll change wood to clay then the bottom value we're gonna change to 200 and as I said, we're going to keep everything the same again, but we're going to add, then add the variable clay at the bottom. So I'm sure, as you can imagine, this is just very pretty straightforward, but it's just trying to keep everything balanced. So we remember everything that we're doing. So we're going to have another um, GUI label, which is for going to be for fish this time. And what I'll do is add a little note, and these are going to be the initial ones for the um, resources collected so obviously with these ones what we've done is we've only kept them going down we haven't moved the value we've just made sure that it moves across so we have wood stone and clay because I may have just described all that wrong but if you imagine it it just goes across 
rather than going down the others we're going to actually make go down so we'll start off by writing the fish so that's going to be 10 across then we're going to make sure that this is 130 going down and then we're going to leave it to 50 50 and then we're going to write fish in the box then the GUI box for the bottom we're going to leave at 60 but we're going to change that to 130 and then leave it at 20 and 20 and add fish here so realistic we're not changing that many values we're just making sure we change the x and y positions for wherever you want to actually position it in your GUI so again what I'll do is paste another one in I'm gonna have this for an empty bottle or whatever we might have so we'll have this 10 across and then instead of 50 we'll have 150 then 50 50 then we'll add the text bottle and then we'll have a GUI box and then we'll leave that at 60 and we'll call that 150 leave it at 2020 and then have that as type bottle and then we're going to only have a couple more this time so this is going to be one we'll set empty holders so that's going to hold anything that we collect so if we collect some water or if we collect some food and then this lack section is going to be maybe edible items so then what we're going to do this time is we're going to add one for cooked fish this time so we're going to say we're going to go down again so we're going to leave it at 10 across 190 down 50 50 and then we'll say sea fish for cooked fish and obviously if you want to write the whole thing cooked fish you want to make that 50 and 50 bigger so we'll be able to fit it in gui dot box then you want to leave that at 60 you want to make this one 190 then leave that 2020 and then have this as cooked fish for the variable then we'll save and then this is going to be slightly different this time if you want to create a button say to eat it if we say if gui dot button open brackets rect open brackets a hundred comma 190 comma 100 comma 20 close that up and write a comma and then we'll say eat fish in quotes we'll add two brackets then we'll add two curly brackets below there and say cooked fish minus Michael minus minus semicolon so this means that what we're doing is we're going to make a GUI button a hundred in the X a hundred across we're going to keep it the same down so it's on the same level as the cooked fish and then we're going to make sure that it's 100 and then 20 so we can fit the word eat fish in that button and then when we click this button it'll take away from our cooked fish variable and obviously later on I'll show you how to make sure that we take that away from the health and such and now very similarly what we're going to do is we're going to copy that section I'm going to paste it in here and we're going to have this for bottled water now we're going to leave that at 10 I'm going to change that 190 to 210 leave it at 50 50 and have it as B water so the label is bottled water then do the GUI box have it at 60 change that to 210 leave it at 2020 and then write the variable bottled water then we're going to create another GUI button um, 100 across like the other we're going to again make it 210 down and then we're going to add a little message in there so to say would we want to drink water and obviously like before the cooked fish variable minus minus but this time we're going to have bottled water minus minus so we're nearly there now the last one that I want to do is for a bandage say so we'll paste this we'll copy this and we'll paste it in one last time make sure that that's correct so we're going to do GUI label then 240 and I'll quickly edit these so that one's 240 that's 240 we'll add heel there and then we'll maybe add bandage here 
and then we'll say here use bandage and then obviously we want to put instead of bottled water minus minus we'll have bandage but one last thing just before you f feel like you finish your script you need to make sure that you write GUI dot end group because what we've done to begin with we began an actual group so the group that we began is the outer box that we had and then we can encapsulate every other GUI element within one GUI box so then we can keep everything together and not floating around the screen so in its entirety I'll quickly give you an example if we add in inventory you can create a GUI skin by going assets create and then GUI skin and what we can do is we add the inventory to our main camera if I just add my basic GUI infantry there and what I can do is if I play the game you'll notice that I, we had what we created here so we had just the wood the stone the clay each of the text is a label the other ones are boxes and these ones are buttons so obviously if I click eat fish it'll obviously take one away obviously we don't want to go into minus we can add we can change the values you know up there so if we eat the fish you know we take down and they'll obviously later on I'll make sure that we can't go below zero but for this you see that we've got a box 300 by 300 and we've got each of our GUI elements inside this box so you, you know you can create anything you want with inside a you know GUI group but like I said before if you can see my code next to it and just to quickly explain, GUI Infantry at the top is our title. Then each of these three are here. So it initially starts 10 across. So this wood starts at 10 across. 50 down, so 50 down from the top. And then we're going to create a box 50-50 so we can add this wood. And then we're going to say so 60 across, so this far across. Oops, I just closed it. 60 across we have the variable and again for stone we have the label so we have it 90 across this time 50 down so it all stays on the same level but we're just shunting the y values or the x values across slightly to change it and obviously it works the same in every single instance so really this is just part one and maybe this took a little bit longer than I expected to do but it was trying to get the idea across that you're just messing around with the positions on screen or on the GUI. So again, I'll be going into more detail in the infantry in videos to come. But for now, thanks very much for watching. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.